Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Please subscribe, hit that join button, join our membership. <sighs> well, I beat... Oh. Got up and went to work this morning, because uh, I was asked to come in and work. Um because of all the uh, the backs that they dropped on me. Um, so I went in. My understanding was that there were going to be a few people in working on back orders for the cells to get those out. And there was nobody else there. <laughs> there were some people working in Whitewood, and there was me in assembly. Um, so... But I went ahead and, and did some work, uh, put in about six hours today. Uh, did not get stuff finished um, because I ran out of materials. Uh, we did not have the backs that I needed. We did not have the floors that I needed. Um, I did what I could. Um, there's still stuff that I'm going to have to do tomorrow. Um, and probably Tuesday morning as well to get Tuesday stuff done. Um, because I don't know on Monday, uh, one, whether they'll have enough of the floors for me. Um, I made sure that they were ordered, um, but I ran out of the 36s, I ran out of the 24s, I ran out of 48s. Um, about the only thing I still have is 48 by 48. Um, and I used one of those, so. But, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't have enough to finish um, stuff for Monday. Um, I got started on Tuesday stuff with the 24s, but ran out of those. So, there's still floors that I'll have to do, the 36s and more 24s. Um, the backs, I worked on the the wall 4242s and got 150 out of the 200 done um, but I had to leave some uh, on the pallet for Monday because uh, I wasn't sure just how many they might need um, and I only think I think there were probably about 30 maybe 40 of the backs left on the pallet so I still wouldn't have even been able to finish even if I had used all of them uh, the 48s, the, the, the B48 drilled backs, um, there's supposed to be some on an overstock pallet, but I couldn't find them, um, so I'm going to have to get with the guy that does the backs and have him sort out those, put them on a pallet and bring them to me, um, because I, I just didn't know what was what. Um, and I think, I, I'm not sure, but I think some of what was on the pallet that he was saying was base 48s is not. <laughs> so, but I'll let him sort it out. Um, so we'll see what happens. But I, I did at least give it an effort this morning. Uh, went in, did some work, you know, got... I went ahead and moved my carts of, of shelves over to the, the cells, so at least I don't have to deal with that when I go in on Monday. The carts are already moved, all the, all, basically the majority of the parts are already over there, so I can get started right away on, you know, my shelves, or if they brought some floors, finishing the floors, um, you know, I, I've got... I'm saving basically an hour of my time um, by having moved all the shelves already. Um, I've got some carryover shelves that come from the mill. I don't know how early I'll get those. Um, but, you know, hopefully I'll be able to just get started on the shelves. The shelves didn't seem like they were, um, like there was a lot to them this time. So it's a smaller pick, I think. So maybe I can get through them a little faster. 
you know, get my shelves done. Uh, hopefully they'll be able to bring uh, the floors in time for me to get to those in a timely fashion. Um, and, uh, but, you know, we'll see how things go. A big part is just going to be, you know, flat stock getting the materials that I need. Um, but then I came home and I got started with the chainsaw, cutting down some more weed trees, trying to clear an area. Um, wound up taking down a piece of fencing as well. Uh, we're trying to make an area where we can move the chickens, uh, you know, the chicken fencing and everything, get the chickens into a new area uh, that has some more grass and, and that they can uh, work over and, and weed for us. Um, and because uh, the area they're in, they've pretty well decimated. Um, so we need to move them to a new area. Uh, so I'm trying to clear so we can set up the fencing and get them to this new area. Um, and, uh, you know, I was, I was making some good progress. Um, now part of that was I, I changed out the bar on my chainsaw. I put the smaller bar on it and the smaller chain, uh, which that was one of the issues that the, the 20 inch bar that the chain for it was getting dull. Um, the 14 inch, it's sharper. It's still not sharp, but it's sharper than the, uh, the 20. Um, both, uh, both chains need to be sharpened. Um, I just haven't gotten to it. Um, and I don't know whether, uh, RP, um, uh, which used to be, uh, big R, um, I don't know whether they've started up doing, uh, chain sharpening again. They used to do it. Um, uh, I haven't checked to see whether they, they sharpen chains anymore. Um, we've also talked about buying new chains. Um, I just, you know, <laughs> kind of want to save the money at the moment. Um, <laughs> so, but I was out there, you know, I changed out the, the chain and bar. Uh, it was working better. Um, I was getting through some of the trees a little faster. Um, most of them are fairly small diameter. You know, we're talking, you know, two to three inches in diameter. Um, I took out a couple that were probably about, you know, five to six inches. Um, cleared a section of fencing, took the fence mostly down. I've, I've still got one, one fence post that it's attached to at the end. Once I get it, you know, detached from there, you know, that, that piece of fencing is down. Um, now I can clear all the area, um, around it, um, you know, where it used to be. Um, I need to get the weed eater and do some weed eating, um, in some of that area. But we're talking about moving the chickens to that area. And so I don't know how much I want to weed eat if we're going to put the chickens out. Um, you know, the chickens can do a lot of the work, that, you know, for me rather than using the weed eater. So, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's coming along. It's, but it made for a long day of, you know, working at Woodmark for six hours, coming home and running a chainsaw for, you know, several hours. Um, I did take a break at one point because it started to rain. It sprinkled a little bit. It was, it was just starting to sprinkle enough that I thought, you know, the rain is coming. Let's pack everything up and uh, come inside and, and deal with, you know, some stuff on the inside. And then the rain never materialized. So, um, you know, I spent some time in the house f for nothing, really. Um, although I did, you know, I actually have a late lunch at that point. Um, you know, I came in, had a salad, um, you know, got some, some drink. Um, and, uh, I mean, it worked out. It just, you know, I could have stayed out there and kept working, uh, made a little bit more progress, but... 
you know, I needed a break anyways, so that was, <laughs> yeah, it was a good excuse for coming in, taking a break, having something to eat, but, uh, you know, would have been nice if it had actually rained, um, we could use the rain, um, the gardens could use the water, so, but, uh, you know, it just didn't, didn't happen, so, but, uh, anyways, um, I think that's going to do it for tonight, um, please subscribe, help us out, uh, give us thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below, and we will see everybody tomorrow, stay safe out there.